Nah, so chill. Like, what does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? This is not real. Why is this happening? I've never even seen this before in my life. Oh my God. Do I wear this? Should I put this on? This is scaring me. What up and good morning, it's your girl Mena. And in this video, I don't even know what the focus is of this video. We are just getting glam and maybe a chit chat will come upon my spirit. Otherwise, we'll just talk about the products and go from there if you're new. We do lots on this channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Also subscribe, comment below on any aspect of the video you like and love. Let's just get into it. I got my coffee and you know with coffee, you gotta, <laughs> I drink coffee because when I learned that it was an appetite suppressant, I said, yes, please suppress my appetite. Thank you. I do also understand that it causes dehydration. <laughs> so I do have my water. This water bottle is from Target. I like it. it's cute. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, so we just gonna play in some makeup today and just have girl time. I don't know. I don't really know what combination I'm gonna do. Part of me wanted to do a Valentine's Day look, but by the time you see this, Valentine's Day gonna be over. So like, what in the whole entire world? Like, hi. If you had a great Valentine's Day, comment below and let me know. If you didn't, comment below and let me know. I used to have this coworker who hated Valentine's Day. He also hated love. So if that's not telling enough, I don't know what else would be. He just hated the idea of love. He lacked love in his life. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and he just didn't wanna hear anything good. It was really sad actually. He was funny. I don't know if he meant to be funny, but he was a funny guy. And he, just, he clearly was just going through a lot. So I was just like, whoa, okay. Anywho, I did do my skincare over an hour ago. And that is what is mixing up with this primer to make it look white, but it's gonna all be good in the hood, you know? Skin is still on the dehydrated side, loving the hydrated look of makeup. Although it's supposed to be warm today. So we are gonna see how this face gonna be looking. It's gonna be 72 degrees, okay? That's hot, okay? Cause it hasn't been 72 in these Houston streets in a while. But I don't believe it's gonna be anything that's going to threaten the longevity of my makeup. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause the weather, we talked about this already, where you're going, what you plan on doing. You're gonna be skydiving, you're gonna be sitting outside in the heat at a barbecue. What you gonna be doing? Cause that all plays into the foundation and really the whole setup, the whole shebang, all the products that you choose, it plays into all of that, depending on what you gonna be doing, you feel me? Foundation, I don't know. I have so many options because of late, all of the new great things. I've got, this is not new, but you know, recently just the tint, lip bar, Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, you know what I haven't put on with you? is YSL New, but this is the darker one. I don't feel like getting up. I don't think I have a lighter one. All right, I wanna save YSL New for a second. I'm gonna go back with NARS because it's one of the newbies and we love her. Which one should I do? Should I use D D6 or D3? D3 matches me perfectly. D6 is a little bit upper. Let's go with D6. Taking three pumps because I cannot remember. With all these different foundations that we have to use, you know, some, yeah, it's dark. <laughs> some, this is this is same, the same darkness as YSL New. I don't know why I didn't just take that. Whatever, I forgot. I forgot how dark it was. I've been trying out so many things. I just can't remember all of it all the time. Wowzers, this is really dark. <laughs> it's looking like black face and I'm black. Like, how? Oh, I forgot how dark this was. <laughs> didn't I tell you that I was gonna use it in the summertime? I can't do it. And here we are in February, okay? Praise the name of our Lord of Hosts because wow, yeah, I need to take this out. Let me, this is my everyday makeup kit that I have right here in front of me. Let me take D6 out, it's right here, and put her to the side, you know, on the sideline so that I don't grab her right now. But I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab her. I'm gonna grab her in the summertime and see what she's talking about. But not right now, not really. <laughs> like, hi. Like, not matching the ears at all. <laughs> But you already know what's gonna happen. No, we gonna we gonna bring it all together.
Okay, so I haven't explained this in the past, so let me do it now. I have been using, to highlight my brow, this Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in the color SX16, which is dark. I've been mixing it with the NARS Concealer in the color Amand. The thing is, I used to just use Amand under my brows, and it's too light. I, I just, you know, you grow and evolve. Like, I'm literally listening to Woman Evolve, right? You grow and evolve and it's been too light for me. So to darken it, I've been using this because it's a cream and cream. I don't wanna mix cream and liquid, I just don't feel like it. And I haven't been able to use this one because it's too dark. So I take a little bit of that one, a little bit of this one, and back of the hand, I'm just mixing it all together. It don't need to be perfect because I'm going to put it under my brow and it's going to mix very lovely when I do it that way, okay? So flattening this brush, which you can find a dupe of this on my Amazon storefront that's always linked in the bio. I always like to start toward the middle of the brow, then go out and then go in. I do not carve out the inner part of the brow because I blend that into my, oh, my crease color. So I don't, mm -mm, that's just ugly to me, okay? So starting right here in the middle where the arch is basically, and then we gonna carve. Now I love a cream because it you can control it more. It's thick thicker than a liquid and it doesn't move around so much. And it's normally full coverage. So once you apply it, you're good. Versus with the liquid, because it's a liquid, so if I were to use this, it'd be a liquid concealer. You just have to pat it to get the coverage. It's just annoying. So I've done it if necessary, but it's not what I like to do. Now these are my makeup brows, right? I do have a microblading video where I talk about my microblading experience and all the things. These are my makeup brows, all right? So this brow bone highlight is a lot more palatable, if you will. And taking this synthetic brush to blend it, I could just use my finger, but I don't always even wanna do that. And I can't lie, I feel cold. My hands are cold, okay? <laughs> Hi. So I always like to blend the outside. No need to actually go on top of the concealer because it's right where I need it. So why would I be touching that? I'm just trying to blend the outer parts of it, all right? And then I wanna set that. I cannot believe that there used to be a day and age where I didn't, I mean, I didn't set concealer at all. We talked about this already, right? Back when I used to use MAC, MAC was on top. Who used to set their concealer? I mean, I don't think anybody was. It just wasn't even a thing to do because I don't even think setting powder was out. Setting powder wasn't even out. Oh girl, it's just the evolution of everything, right? This is the Huda Beauty setting powder. I should use a bigger brush because the bigger the brush, the bigger area I can cover in a short amount of time. I'm having to go really slow to get this where I need it. But if my brush were bigger, I could do this faster. And it's a little annoying. Why did I use this? I don't know. But that's how you choose your brushes. <laughs> choose it based on the area that you're trying to cover. Yo, I am still loving this. I kiss I Envy lash glue. It does not get clumpy. Only a little, but I'm just comparing this to the bonding glue that I used to use. It's so bad. <laughs> and I used to always have to pick off the old glue before applying new glue. I do not have to do it with this one. It is just, it's not getting clumpy. I did a dark purple eyeliner. I used the Wet n Wild color icon eyeshadow palette because this is what I have right in front of me. Just like whatever. I really want to put a color in my waterline, but I don't know what color to do. I always do black as a default. That's why I did this dark purple, but it's giving cool. So it's looking gray a little bit, but it's it's actually a dark purple, whatever. Can I do yellow? Ooh, that'll like spice things up. <laughs> I could do pink, but that's like so predictable. We're just having fun right now. Ooh, yellow. Ooh, electric. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. I can do that. It's a little something different. LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner. But then I'll have to go and put something dark underneath to balance out the look. Let's just do that. You know, we're just like doing today. Why not? It's called screaming, okay? Like you screaming. 
and when I put on mascara, it'll cover the pencil that got onto my eyelashes. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, now let's put on these lashes because the glue was getting tacky while I did this. I place it toward the middle of my eye, then I go on the outside, then on the inside. I like to have lashes that have fresh mascara on it so that it's not dry, so that when I press the lash and my lashes stick together. I, I toggle between D20 and D22 AliExpress lashes, but if you wanna purchase your lashes from Amazon, go for it. These are 5D lashes. I like them real thick. And this is my one of my hangups with individual lashes is that with makeup, I like my lashes to be like this. But I could never, I would never walk around without makeup with lashes like this. For me, it's an absolute no. So I just can't imagine getting individual lashes, but I'd be toggling, I'd be like, I want it. It just looks cute, but I'd be hating the look of lashes like this without makeup. It just looks very <laughs> questionable for me. You know, I think it looks sick, okay? And I don't wanna do the natural one and then put lashes on top because then I'm pulling off the individuals that I paid $180 or whatever it costs. I don't know how much it costs. I'd be so tempted though. Maybe one day I'll do it, I don't know. <laughs> what? Okay, let's get some of that dark purple underneath my eye. It's just from this Maven Beauty. Hi, coffee machine. Welcome, yeah, come on in. It's a dark purple, baby. Just to balance all of this out. You see how this just gives the eye some more dimension, okay? Makes the bottom look a smidge smoky and it just does something for the bottom eye. Always tapping off the excess. Take a flat liner brush and here we are. And it accentuates the inner eyeliner because we're basically contouring the, the bottom. You see, you got dark and light. It's going to make the light pop. I got some of that yellow eyeliner on my contacts. I can see it. Yeah, my contacts, my contacts be going through a lot, okay? And now bottom mascara, Lawless, one and done. We've already swung some out this like so many times. Open this up. This is my second one, mind you. And I have, oh, I bought an extra but I have it in the bathroom. So actually I don't have a backup, but I will, I'm not afraid to buy another one just in case. And I showed you all on a reel on IG. If you're not following me, then make sure you are how to put on your mascara, especially for the bottom. Take your time with it and roll and roll and what? Swipe or whatever you wanna call it. Do the whole thing, okay, baby? Roll it under, roll it on top, go left and right, and here we go. Take some more product if you need to and take your time with it. Sometimes you might prefer a thinner wand depending on what your bottom lashes look like and the space on your face looks like, but this wand works really good for me. Those big fat wands are not good for me under the lash and neither are those real narrow ones either i'd just be like what is this now i know that it's a combination of the wand and the product that makes the application good but this one right here is just a, it's a double whammy for me in a good way so here we go bottom lashes hi looking very dramatic what do you think gotta keep my eyes up for it to dry because this elongates my bottom lashes so much that if they're not dry It'll touch my face and give me marks. Gotta let that dry a little bit. I don't know what lips it do, baby, because I'm wearing a pink peach type, not peach, more pink outfit today. And for that reason, I'm just like, what lip combo? Should I just go all the way nude? And the way I wanna do all the way nude using this as a gloss. Now, all the way nude is that brown lip liner. Or is that mauve lip liner? I'm thinking brown lip liner. You see the you see the thought process here? <laughs> you know, do I base with this, which is a fave of mine, Shayla and ColourPop? Like what in the world? And then do the gloss. When I do a gloss, I like to do a lip stain underneath it because the gloss in and of itself is going to loosen up the base. So if my base is a satin lipstick and then I do a gloss, well, it's gonna sheer a lot easier when I'm eating, talking, living. But if I do a lip stain and then a gloss, the longevity is a lot longer. The longevity is a lot stronger. Is it longer or stronger? Comment below, let me know which one it is, okay? Got some scholars in the comments. Y'all be scholaring and stuff. <laughs> I can't even deal. Scott Barnes, Glamazon, Naomi lip pencil. Hi.
I like to keep that accent right here, but I do know that there are some folks who will go right over. If you prefer that look for your lip, do what you feel. I like that accent, hence why I have the highlight right there, baby. And then let's just slow down. I just wanna get to know you. Take your time and blend your ombre, hello. It's a must. If you care, you'll slow down and do it right, okay? Smile to get the creases of the lip. If you let your liquid lip dry in the creases, the natural creases of the lip, when you smile, you're gonna see lines. So you wanna blend it with a smile and let it dry so that it's all in. Ooh, ow. Hi, how are you? Now, this is so light, like lighter than I was expecting on this good Wednesday morning that I don't know. Okay, so I'm not gonna do this gloss. You know why? This gloss is the same color-ish. It's gonna lighten my lip and my lip is already light enough that I don't wanna lighten it more. So let me get a, a shimmery gloss that will just give me some shimmer to the lip. Mm, this is gonna tone it down a little bit, but maybe that's what I want. Let's see, Revolution Beauty Shimmer Bomb Lip Gloss, and this is a color Starlight. I have used this, and I like this is fat, thick, okay? Hi, wow, what? what? Do you see that? Why is it going back inside? What is that? Is this magnetic? Watch, look at this. Oh no, wait. Nah, so chill. Like, what does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? This is not real. Why is this happening? I've never even seen this before in my life. Oh my God, do I wear this? Should I put this on? This is a magnetic lip gloss? What? Ah! No, wait. And now I keep on doing it because I can't, I can't, I can't unsee this. I've never seen this. And it's not even like it's it's this way. I'm holding it horizontal. Why is it why is it doing that? It's happening to my lip also. I'm not a magnet. What are you doing? If you're wearing headphones, I do apologize. No, I just missed them on my makeup. I can't do this right now. Oh, hi. Now for Ramumi and Kanye, what is this? I already have some on my lip, so I need to fix this and put it on. Wow. Okay, I am going to put this on because I've worn this before and it hasn't done anything wrong to me. Oh my God. This is weird. This is weird. I mean, I love the gloss. I do, I do. I, I love the gloss. It gives a great shimmer. If I'm going to be taken over by aliens tonight, can you comment and let me know if I should be expecting that? Obviously, by the time you see this, if I was abducted by aliens, it would have already happened, you know? But I do wanna know what your take is on this very perplexing, mind-boggling. Oh, <laughs> wait, oh my God. Now I put too much in? Oh, I can't do this. <laughs> oh, okay, hi, wait, hold on. Mm, 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 mm. It's all of the confusion right now for me. I do. I have to say that I'm pretty taken aback by today's events. Okay, good. Get the gunk out of the middle. We don't want yuck mouth. Okay, well, this was a very eventful video. <laughs> if you like how it came out, I want you to comment and let me know. Follow on IG, Minna underscore Adibia, as always. I want you to comment here, subscribe to my channel, join my text community, it's free. And if you're in the US, you can text me whenever your heart desire and when I get to it, which I usually do. I'm gonna respond back to you. It is me, it's not spam. And as always, I'm glad that you watch my videos. I post three times a week here on YouTube. Make sure you watch some more videos that are gonna be linked right after this one. And I'll see you in the next video.